Hi, this is Grant with BirdX, and today I'm going to be discussing the Super Bird Expeller Pro. This is our four-speaker sonic deterrent device, meaning it plays audible sounds to deter birds from large areas. This device covers up to six acres and has a combination of species distress calls and bird raptor calls to create a natural scare environment. It's often used in large applications such as warehouses, manufacturing plants, loading docks, farms, barns, sheds, and vineyards. Now let's discuss the parts that come with the Superbird Expeller Pro. First, you have the control box, as you can see in front of you, the four external speakers, each with a hundred feet of cable that run back to the control box, the power plug, which comes in 110 volt or 220 volt for international customers, and the control box also comes with a mounting bracket. There are three different versions of the Superbird Expeller Pro. Version 1 for pigeons, starlings, sparrows, and seagulls. Version 2 for crows, blackbirds, grackles, comorants, ravens. And version WP for woodpeckers. It's important to select the version that applies to the problem that you are having and what species is present. If you have species that are in all three of these versions, we recommend version 2 since it has recordings for larger birds that will often be recognized by the smaller birds on version 1. Now let's discuss programming the device. Each version of the Super Bird Expeller Pro comes with eight recordings, a combination of species-specific distress calls and bird predator calls. There is a sticker that is going to label the bird sounds that correlate with each recording. This device is going to come with all of the bird recordings turned on. To start, we want to turn all of them off and then select the recordings that fit your need. Often we recommend two to four sounds on at once, but no more than four as this is the most natural. Oftentimes we recommend one species distress call and one bird predator call. And it's important to change these recordings every three to four days for the first two weeks and then once every week or so. We want to prevent the birds from getting habituated to the sounds. Next, we're going to discuss the mode settings. First, I want to mention the diagram above the volume knob that is going to give some direction on how to set these switches. First, we have the delay, which determines the time period between the recordings and when they play. This is programmed using switches one and two. Next, we have the time of day of when the recordings play using switches three and four. There is day only, 24 hours, or night only. Next, we have switch five, which sets the random order of recordings, meaning you can play the bird recordings in sequential order or at random. We often recommend using the random setting. Lastly, we have switch six. When it's turned off, it plays the recordings out of one speaker at a time. And when it's on, it plays the recordings out of all speakers at once. Next, we have the volume knob. We want the volume coming out of the speakers to sound natural. Our goal is to recreate a natural scare environment, so we don't want the volume too loud or too quiet. At maximum volume, with these speakers spread out at 100 feet from the control box, this device covers up to six acres. So if you have a smaller space, like two acres to cover, you can leave the volume towards the lower end. The last few things I want to mention is the power switch, which has the on-off setting, the power supply, where the charger plugs into, and the four speaker ports where the cable of the speaker is going to plug in through. All of the cables, whether it's the charger or the speaker cables, are going to run through the grommet on the bottom of the control panel. This is going to ensure that the device is weather resistant. To wrap up today's video, I want to answer some frequently asked questions and provide some tips for using the Super Bird Expeller Pro. Often one question we get is, can the sounds be heard? Yes, this is a sonic deterrent device, meaning that it plays audible sounds that can be heard. Another common question we get is where to place the control box and where to position the speakers. It's important to place the control box in a location where there is a power source and somewhere where you can easily access the control panel to make any changes to the settings. 
As for the speakers, the audible sounds are going to carry a far distance, so the location of the speakers isn't quite as important as the control box. You want them in a location where they're going to cover the area as desired, and you can test this by hearing the sounds from the device. If there is not a 110 or 220 volt power supply, this device can be operated using a 12 volt battery and solar panel. Some additional parts will be needed. Lastly, I want to mention that the international 220 volt version of the Super Bird Expeller Pro does have an interchangeable sound chip. You are able to purchase an additional sound chip that fits the bird species of your region to further increase the effectiveness of this device. If you have any other additional questions about the Super Bird Expeller Pro, please give us a call and speak with one of our technical reps here at BirdX. We are happy to help. Thank you very much for your time.